Hi, I'm Laura with Three Time Junk by Laura, and this is Thursdays at 3-ish. Thank you so much for joining us. If Katie could turn the camera around, you would see that my family is lined up behind her eating ice cream and pizza. I'm not getting any of that because I'm doing the Thursday video. <laughs> Are you feeling the love? Okay, so first before we start, we've got a couple announcements. Okay, they see the pizza and the ice cream now. Um, we're doing the customer creations winners. Get a $35 gift certificate. Just order online. Make a note in the notes section that you won the Thursday at 3 customer creation thing, and they will refund you $35 of your order. So first one we have is this one. This is Lisa... Argoni, Argoni. I'm so sorry. I hope I got it right at least one of those two times. This one is fabulous because of several reasons. These are the chairs that she did. First of all, she found them on the side of the road. I love when I find things on the side of the road, so they were free. That's fabulous. Secondly, she painted them linen and did the dark walnut stain on the seats. They look fabulous. And third, she gave them to her daughter for her daughter's new house. So she's fabulous. She's a great mom. So I know they look great, don't they? they yeah. Great Tom likes those. Yay. Okay, so there you go. So Lisa, number one. Number two is are you ready for this one this is phenomenal number two is leanne gibbons here's the table she started with she used fog and dark glaze on the base and she used weather gray and raven black stain top on the top are you ready so there's the before there we go dun, 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 dun. we need some kind of drum roll or something ba, 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 ba. oh yeah that wasn't a drum roll <laughs> at all but all right thanks ta-da isn't that fabulous Look at the change. Leanne is fabulous, and I must say, Rethunk Junk is fabulous too. Leanne plus Rethunk Junk equals really fabulous. So, that worked out great. I can't. Beautiful, beautiful. You can't get it? No, I could get it. I was trying to do the side by side, but. Oh, I'm not did that enough. not work? Oh, that's better. How's that? Thank you. Yeah, that would be uh, Sorry, I have an ice okay. cream in my Now, <laughs> this week we have to do an honorable mention. This person gets a $35 gift certificate too, because. This is the most, some of you may have already read this if you're on the Q&A page, this is the most um, unique, most creative, most outside the box use for prep I have ever heard in my life. So here we go. This is Erin Perry. Funny story, disclaimer, she doesn't recommend doing this, but if you try it, use it at your own risk. Um, so I have never been able to get nail polish to stay on my fingernails. Aside from going to the nail salon, no matter what I try, the polish just always peels off and I buy good quality polish. Anyway, several weeks ago I needed my nails to look nice. But I didn't want to go to the nail salon. I'd been painting with Rethunk Junk that day and I got the wild idea that if the prep cleans and helps the paint stick to pretty much anything, maybe it would help my nail polish stay on. I sprayed them, wiped them with a cloth, and painted my nails. The polish stayed on for a week before I took it off to change the color for my vacation. I did the same thing again, sprayed prep on them, wiped them off, and painted them. My nails and toes look salon done for the whole weekends at the beach. I'm not sure how good or healthy this is for my fingers and toes, but I will definitely keep your but it will definitely keep your polish on. I think that is absolutely hilarious. We have several other people who are going to do that. Try it out. There should not be any... Where are you guys going? They just left. Everybody left except Katie. Katie, thank you for they staying. They took my ice cream with them. They did take your ice cream, didn't they? So, I'm sorry. So, great use for the prep. $35 gift certificate there. The worst case scenario, you might need a little more hand lotion if it dried your hands out just a little bit. So, hey, Tom, well, let's get started. Can you hand me the pictures of the things we're doing this week? So, this week... We are doing. I'm gonna have to sip my ice cream now. Wait, no, I'm gonna get it first. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So we're doing this. <laughs> okay. Now you can make any picture. We're just gonna show you the technique. You can do whatever you want to do with it. Here's what I'm so excited about. These picture frames I found at Hobby Lobby <coughs> for. Katie, okay, pay attention to the camera, not the ice cream. I'm doing it. Found them in Hobby Lobby. They were $25. I guess if you're into Western, this is great. I'm really not. But the frame is phenomenal. So they were on sale for five bucks, 25 down to five. Woohoo, great price. And look what we turned them into. Are you ready? We need a, really need a drum roll. Uh, that's not, that's not uh, so like a weed eater. Oh. Here's what we got now. Ta da! There should be hearts and smiley faces and everything flying across the screen because of how fabulous this is. So, are there, Katie? No. Cowboy, <laughs> no one likes it? Okay, we're just done then. <laughs> we're done for today. Figure out how to do it yourself. Okay, so this is what we're working on. And let me show you a couple other options. Because what we're doing, this is stain top, this is paint, and then this is a really cool transfer method that we figured out. So you can do color. Does that give me any hearts? Any smiley faces? Any reaction whatsoever? Is anybody watching today? 
No. Are we no. hooked up to the internet? Yes, we have people okay. watching. All right. So, color one. Isn't that cute? That one's very cute. Okay. So, what we're doing is we're gonna start with um. Oh. Let's do. <laughs> well, let's do our frame first. It'll be the easiest. Where's my frame? Okay. So here's my frame. Wow, it's got a bunch of parts. Wow. Oh, great. Yeah. I'm a big for them. And okay. a heart attack. Okay. Here's our frame. Let me show you how we got the um, little transfer pieces. Oh, if you come over to the computer, Katie. That way. Okay. So this, you might want to write this one down if you're listening. Otherwise, you'll have to watch the video again. Nobody wants to do that twice. So you're going to go to the graphics area. Can you zoom in on that, Kate? Make sure those sexy pictures of me don't come uh -huh. up. Oh, I will, Tom. <laughs> okay. You can search for anything. All the, all the images on here. Oh, flip. <coughs> all the images on here are free. Let me hook up to the right Wi-Fi. It's not on here as a choice. This is not good because I got to print some stuff. <gasps> there we go. Mm. All right. So find this. There's tons of stuff. When I did the cow, I just searched for vintage cow. There's a bunch of stuff that come up. Um, and the wreath was on here. Everything that I did over there was on here. It's a great website. So on this next one that we're doing, I searched for a pig. And I found this little guy right here and went down. No, you can interrupt. People are saying hello from. Oh, okay, great. There's the pig sign image and we got the pig. Only thing you got to do is figure out how to flip him because if, if when you watch how we do the transfer, it will, the words will be backwards. So it took me like 700 hours, but I did figure out how to flip it. Not that I could ever do it again or explain it to anyone. I'm just glad that I have one flipped pig. So, which actually is saved in my documents as the flipped pig. <laughs> so, we're going to open that puppy and print it. And here's the fun part. Okay, we got the flipped pig. We're going to choose him. See how slow I am on the computer. Look, it's all backwards. It's fabulous. Okay, file print. And here's what we're printing on. There we go. We're ready to go. But, <clears throat> we discovered, sorry, Katie, you can get right in front of you. We discovered, this trash is here for a reason. We'll tell you about it in a minute. That when because we have our kids label some of our things and we figured out that when we're done with the label sheet I've tried wax paper and it wrinkles up in my computer and then I've tried taping it to a piece of cardstock and that wrinkles up in the computer because of the tape but this is absolutely perfect the thing that the labels are on so we take the labels off throw that away and you have a sheet that's the exact perfect size to run through your printer you want to run it through so that the ink goes on the slickerty side see how that's shiny and that's not you want the ink on this side, okay? So we're gonna put it in like this, because my computer does. I mean, my printer does it around like that. So, and we're gonna print. People are saying hello. We're not being told. Oh well, Jill's not saying anything. Hello, everyone. Okay. We got this coming. No, focus on the printer, not me. Don't focus well, on me. Sorry. When there's an option. I was reading things. Oh, okay. What's the website that you used? Were you afraid they were gonna know what it looked like when it printed? No, I just don't want the camera on me unless I absolutely have to be. I don't care where she focuses, it's just not on me. Okay, I'll tell you the it's graphics fairy. G R A P H I C S fairy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm just cutting around it a little bit oh, so I can kind of center it in the frame. This was the slick side. So now we're gonna put it down in the middle of the frame here. Sort of in the middle. As in the middle as we can get. Rub a little bit. You can take a credit card, popsicle stick, whatever works for you, and you're gonna rub all the ink onto the wood. And like I said, with the wreath that we did, it works in color too. I've been my abs. Your what? Abs. Oh, your abs. Okay. <laughs> you can use your abs. I bet you could, Tom. The washboard abs you got there. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna tell you where I got the paper from, but then I'm gonna tell you your solution. So that should be about right. <gasps> Yay! Look how cute we got a piggy. See, just took all the ink off that. Isn't that awesome? Yes, yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so here's the deal. We'll put our pig on top of the cow right there. Um, and I've got. We're gonna print one more and do it on this. The reason I have this, this is the bottom of a drawer that tore up. So I used it for 
the background on this one. So that's just the back of a drawer that tore up. So what we're gonna do now is, okay, so here's the deal. This is when we, when we do our labels. It's the label sheet. So I'm so sure you're thinking, well, I don't do labels, but the, oh good, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what you do is, cause wax paper just never really works for me. So what you do is you buy your Avery labels, take your wax paper, put all of your Avery labels on the wax paper, which I'm sure your husband will love. So transfer all of your Avery labels onto wax paper and then you'll have these sheets from your Avery labels to run through your printer. Isn't that fabulous and creative, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, now we're gonna do one more. That's very creative, dear. Isn't it, honey? You know you love it. All right. So now, this is the website again, if you want to include, zoom in on that, Graphics Fairy. And she has such fabulous stuff on there. But right now, we're going to shrink that down because I saved. There are so many cool things. <laughs> what? What are we laughing at? Where is it? The fact that you can't find your doctor. There it is. Will it distract you if I tell you all the hellos now? No, don't no, tell me the hellos about this, Prince. The hello from Deanne Bailey. Oh, hello. Arizona. Happy birthday yesterday, right? You should Indiana. say he and Bailey. Okay, yeah, they, I don't think they can hear him still. Who? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm listening Arizona, now. Arizona, Indiana. Oh, yay! Arizona, Indiana, woohoo! Um, Ohio. That's good. Ohio. Uh, let's see, Linda, what? Layla Bell is watching. She never gets to watch from home, so she's home today. Awesome. Let me show you something real quick when I'm printing, which I know you know. File print. <laughs> Sorry, did I just really interrupt you? No, On default. Sometimes I'll change mine. Everything will be different. Oh, no, that's not it. <laughs> okay, don't do that. You I don't know them. why I did not do it on that. No, there was one of them I had to do in grayscale. Oh, let me get this for it. Oh, you know what? I don't have to get this for it dries because it really isn't going to dry very fast. Okay. We're going to... You can also purchase transfer paper because not everybody has any local. You could. Yes, you could. Nobody told me heard that. Thing. You can buy transfer paper, Jill says, because not everybody has empty labels. No, that's from Lori. Oh, that's from Lori. Yeah. Well, just price it. See what's cheaper. Transfer paper or labels at Walmart. I don't know. Okay, you have a high from Washington, South Carolina, and Chicago, and Walker says no. Washington, South Carolina, Chicago, yay. Wapa, Canada. Yeah. Extra points. Okay. We painted this board linen. And then we're putting this nest on. Oh, how pretty. Okay, there's our little nest. Then I just got some bee board and I just cut everything. I kind of eyeballed it. Because does that surprise anybody? And we're gonna. Oh, yay! Good. And they're asking if that's wood. If what's wood? This is wood, yes. It's. Just cheap, well, it's not wood, it's cheap. It's MDF. MDF. Yeah. Painted MDF. This B board is wood. And a high from Idaho, Michelle Rose is watching. Oh, hey, Michelle. And Blue Ridge, Georgia. Blue Ridge, who's in Blue Ridge? That's awesome. I'm going to go there and stay in a cabin again. All right. We'll trade um, paint for a cabin if anybody has a cabin. Is there any special type of printer? Ink or um, ink? Uh, it does need to be um, inkjet. inkjet, not laser. Um, which works for me because each other is a cheaper printer. So if, you're, if your printer is cheap, you're good to go. Hello from New Mexico. Oh, awesome. No, is there a question? Question. So you couldn't reuse the label paper and does it leave too much residue? Does it leave too much residue? What do you mean? On the label paper, like could you... When you take the labels off? No, when you take the... I'm going to tell you in oh, a second. Oh, okay. See what's left here? Well, here, I'm going to see if it'll come off all the way, and then you could just reuse the same Oh, you could use label. the same sheet over and over. Mm, maybe if you clean it with the prep. <laughs> but would the prep take the shiny part off? It might. I don't know. <laughs> He's just rubbing it off, and it's coming off pretty well. Okay. Ta -da. Did a nest earlier. This isn't dry yet, but I would put this on here. Obviously, let's sand it first, because that doesn't look as good as it should. So... Alright. And 
the did you use the stain top on that wood? Yes, that was the dark walnut stain top. This is the Raven Black I used here. This is dark walnut. This one, if you want to zoom in on that one, is weathered gray. But then I dry brushed some of the seaside color onto that one. So this one, when it dries, will look like that. And then I took my nail gun, <laughs> which I've learned that I can't do right now. Um, move that stack of stuff right there. It needs to be nailed to this desk. I did nail my project to the desk yesterday. Yes, That's I did. Uh -huh. But I got a solution now. So move that drawer piece to your place, sweetheart. Okay. Oh, yay. Hello, Florida. So we've got this one. You can probably glue it. Wouldn't be as much fun, but you could glue it. See, the nails are a little long. It went right into the... But I'll fix that in just a moment. Could you glue it? You could glue it, I said. It wouldn't be as much fun as using a power tool, but you could glue it. You weren't listening. No, I wasn't. I could use a hot glue gun. Would it be as much fun as power tools? I don't think so. Power tools and a hammer. Uh, yes. If you, if you what? If you twist those back and forth, they'll snap. Yep. Well, they're already nailed down. No big deal, right? Yeah, no. That's mm -hmm. not a big deal. No, not at all. Okay. So, you it's can print a, any picture you want. I'm excited for one of you guys to try it and do a photograph. So you can print anything you want. Do what? You could have put me on there. I could have. Uh -huh. I certainly could have. In a bathing suit. Uh-huh. Do what? Oh, that would be cute with a ribbon hanger. That would be really cute. Is that you, Jill? That was. Jill said that would be really cute with a ribbon hanger, and she's right. Jill wants a raise. Um, so <laughs> that's right. I could use my car stapler to staple the ribbon on. So many tools in one project. Okay, here's my last tip. If you're buying paint regularly, oh, and then I have an exciting thing to say. If you're buying paint regularly, which all of you should be, um, I don't like putting my lid back on the can. I can never get it back on, back off, and I just don't take care of it very well. I have found these. They are fabulous. They are wonderful. Paint goes in them. When you're ready to paint, put your finger over the top. Shake, shake, shake. Spray it on the, I mean, you can squeeze it out onto the paper plate or onto your project even. I just don't want to spray it everywhere. There. As much as you want, tiny bit. Look, no mess. <laughs> How fabulous is that? And if you want these, we are not selling them to make money. I'll just give you the source. Can you zoom in on that? Websterontstore.com. They're called FIFO bottles. First in, first out. Whatever goes in first comes out first. Where will you fill them? What and, if you shake oh. it? Then it all mixes up, and there's no reason for them to have that name. You should call the company. Yep. And whether you're getting the 24 ounce, I mean the 32 ounce or the 24 ounce, they even have some smaller ones. All of them are three dollars or less. So, but they're absolutely fabulous for storing the paint. Fabulous. Okay, last thing I need to tell you is we are. Do what? They want to know if you could print out the picture and gunk it. So I'm going to say no because it'll probably tear. Um, you could print out the picture and gunk it. Yes, you totally could. But not on the transfer paper, right? Yeah, no, you just want to print it on regular paper. But then my problem is, how do I cut that out? You know, see all the little tendrils and all the little leaves and how you go, it's like the cow. How do you go around all these ears? And I like the cool, um, distressed, aged look that it gives. When you look at the wreath, that would be a pain to cut out. <clears throat> and if you don't cut it out, you don't see, you know, you just have a square picture. And you can totally do that if you have no standards. Just kidding. You can totally do that. This was just something fun and different. We've gunked before. This was just something kind of cool and neat. Um, so last thing I need to tell you is we are almost at 30,000 likes on our Facebook page. 30,000 likes on our Facebook page. That's so exciting. So here's what we're doing. Like our page. Tell your friends to like your page. What's the matter? I have a couple mm -hmm. questions. Ask me. Is there a video about using rethunk junk paint on the fabric? I heard you can do that, so I was just wondering. You can. And actually, I'm so glad they asked that. This chair got painted with our paint and there is a tutorial on YouTube for that and uh, you can use those transfers and transfer things to fabric. So I did the same the principle as all the cows, the pigs, the wreath and everything and just smooshed it onto the fabric and then made a pillow. So you can transfer onto the fabric too. And so, what are the containers called and how long does the paint stay good in them? FIFO, F-I-F-O and it'll stay good. They're sealed up. It'll stay good for how long you think, Tom? Three or four hours. <laughs> how long do you think the paint will stay good in those, Tom? I've had those in there all week. Yeah. A well, I've only, yeah, I've only had them for a couple of weeks. I absolutely love them, but they're going to stay, for me, they're going to stay better than if they're in the quart can because I can't get it. After a while, I can't get a seal on my quart can because i got gunk all around the edges. Not gunk, paint all around the edges. 
So it's, um, all right. So, what? <laughs> why are you hitting? No, why? Because why? <laughs> okay, so I have something really special to tell you and I can't tell you. That's what I'm supposed to say. But you're going to announce later. I'm going to announce it later. Why am I announcing it later? Oh, just go. Just go what? Okay, there's <laughs> something exciting that's going to be happening. So it's already on the Facebook page. Oh, well then go ahead. Yeah, so that kind of pops your bubble, huh? Yes. All right, sorry. I don't know what Tom had planned. It was probably way more fabulous than what I'm going to say, but we are almost at 30,000 likes. We are excited. Tell all your friends to like it. You like the page if you haven't liked it. Tell strangers to like it. Stop at the store and get people to like it. Whatever you need to do, get people to like it. We get 30,000 likes. We should be able to get there by July 30th. So on July 30th, our thank you for watching the videos, putting up with our dysfunction, using the paint, which is not dysfunctional, it's absolutely fabulous, for retailing the paint, for working with us, for everything you do. Our thank you is July 30th, because we're, we're doing with the 30,000 theme, July 30th, and this is on the Facebook page if you want more details, at uh, July 30th at three, from three to 3.30 for 30 minutes, everything on the website, all the paint and everything will be 30% off. Now, we don't want you to order from us regularly if there's a retailer near you. We want you to try the paint if you've never tried it. We've talked to our retailers and they are on board with this and lovely because they know that they want to say thank you too. But for 30 minutes is all from 3 to 3.30 Eastern time. Everything on July 30th, everything will be 30% off. So jump on there really quick. The coupon code is 30,000 likes. And it's on the Facebook page too. So why, why are you laughing at me? Why are you crumpling? He's really just a... Well, I don't even know the word. So, all right. Special. <laughs> special. That's the word. Special is the word. Try the transfers. Show me what you make. Post something. Uh, the three winners. Contact us so that you can get your thirty-five dollars when you place your order. Like our Facebook page. And thank you so much for watching. Happy resucking. <laughs>